All right, guys, welcome. This is the grand final of the Australian tournament. This is going to be a best of five series, and this is a matchup between Crip My Pants and Tesla Azua. Both teams have proved their might through the through these uh, tough, tough rounds going into there. And anyways, I am Trentus for DDT Dota, and I'm going to be casting the first couple of games of this solo. Just going to check that off offline. And yeah, other than that. Let's just go back right into it. So, quick bands coming out from Crypt My Pants and Tesla Azua. Just running out with the Bat Rider band, you know. It's a pretty good band, pretty standard, pretty standard. I mean, you don't really want to go up against the Flaming Lasso. It's an annoying stun, goes through BKB, does all those type of things. I mean, he's really annoying to lane against. And he can go mid, he can go off lane, he can go jungle. He's just really, really annoying. Um, and Nick's also being banned out by Tesla. And, uh, yeah, he's just uh, one of those support heroes that's just so aggressive, just does so much in lane, and it's just really annoying to play against as well, quite powerful right now. So they just didn't really want to deal with that, so they just banned him out. Mag ban coming out, and a Coddle ban coming out as well. Mag's obviously, with his ulti, is just pretty pretty dangerous, and, yeah, I mean, his skewer is just pretty annoying as well. And the Shockwave in lane helps him be able to, you know, c contest with those really powerful mids of the Queen of Pain, the Pucks... All those type of guys, and Coddle, obviously, his pushing power, his global, his global like presence with his recall, just very powerful heroes, and that obviously means that Darkseer is getting through. So Darkseer being picked up for Crit My Pants, and Garcopter and Shattered him picked up for Tesla. Now Darkseer is obviously one of those heroes who can do pretty much anything. He can do mid, he can do offline, he can do support, he can do jungle, and you know he just loves it up. He uses his Iron Shell to get that farm up. Especially against uh, defensive tri lanes, it's very, very powerful. Even against offensive tri lanes, if he goes the safe lane route. And Gyrocopter, just a really powerful mid recently, just been really shown how it's, how to use it by you know teams like Mouse Sports. He's been around. And Shattered Dim's disruption is just a really powerful setup. And obviously his greater purge goes through um, goes through BKB, which is just something that not sorry denom demonic purge, not greater purge. Sorry about that, guys. And yeah, that just goes through BKB, and it's just really annoying. And if you go for that uh, that Nikes or anything like that, I mean, he's going to be stunned up. And I'll probably have to say that, let's drink some water there, that it's a very good pickup. And it's good to see that they picked up a, a guy which can go mid or safe lane. And a Shadow Dim, which, can, which is one of those really powerful support heroes. And that leaves Crit My Pants just uh, mulling over their tactics and going into reserve time, making sure that they have the full use of this. Now Tesla has obviously shown their Chen prowess throughout these uh, throughout this tournament and I don't really know if Crit My Pants are prepared to counter that. And a Night Stalker and a Jakiro um, being picked up by Crit My Pants. Night Stalker has obviously been going mid and it's just one of those really powerful gankers. I mean that fear, that crippling fear and the void is just very very powerful and obviously Hunter in the Night is pretty annoying to play up against as well. And Undying being picked up for Tesla Azura. Oh man, I'm so glad to see Undying. He got through the ban phase, and I mean, all the games we cast recently, he's actually gotten through, but he hasn't been picked up. He was just hated. But we get to see him now, which is good. I mean, he's got such awesome tri lane presence. I mean, with the Decay, with the Soul Rip, with the Tombstone once he gets those levels up. Oh man. It's just such an annoying hero to play against, but it's a really fun hero to um, to watch. And Jakiro, with those stuns coming out uh, from the ice paths, always make things interesting. Magma Pyre is also a great ultimate that, uh, you know, when you see it, it's just like, yeah, he's got good Magma Pyre off, yeah. And does lots of lots of AOE damage, especially that in com combination with the with the dual breath. And Crypto Pants banding out the Windrunner. So one of those powerful either offlane or can go mid if you want to copy um, uh, a couple of uh, very famous players at the moment, which I'm just going to ignore because we're going over to the, the Nikes ban by Tesla. They don't really want to go up against the Nikes. I mean, Chen is still in the pool if they're wanting to go for that. But they've been playing that the whole tournament. I mean, if Crypto Pants has been watching the vids, which I'm pretty sure they have, I mean, it's a very obvious strat which they're going for. So could this be Tesla's way of just going, yeah, we're going to give you the option to ban it out, and if you waste the ban on it, you know, that's fine. But we've got something else prepared. I mean, they've been practicing. They were in they were in the other tournaments uh, in the last couple of weeks. They didn't do quite so well. But, um, yeah, it's been good to see. But this is just Tesla Situs. Just 
thinking about it. I mean, they don't exactly have a massive hard carry unless Gary Copper's going to go safe lane. It's probably going mid, though. We'll outland the crap out of Night Stalker, who won't be able to do anything. Luna being picked up now as well um, as a band for Crip My Pants. It's something that really is, is a very, very hard carry, but the early land presence with Illuminate and just her aura gives it awesome last hit and gives it awesome harass, and then as soon as she gets that level 6, or level 7, man, that Eclipse just hurts if they ever, ever go on an offensive ganking spree or anything like that. It's just a massive amount of team fight. And they're not wanting any of the Venomancer either. Just banning that one up. Making sure that, you know, Venomancer offers a lot of push, and so they don't really have that much push yet. I mean, Darkseer can, is a fairly good turtle hero. Can uh, anti-push quite well. But just not sure if the if that's the strat they're going for. I mean, with a night stalker, you generally try and get ganks off around that first mid, uh, first night time, assuming that he gets good enough farm in uh, in that first daytime, which is the first six minutes or so of the laning phase. Just as the wards usually dropped out of time, and then he just uh, roams from lane to lane, just trying to gank it up, get get those kills off. And Bounty Hunter, another very powerful offlane. I mean, his track is just so good against invisible heroes. And, I mean, it just gives so much bonus gold and XP. If he falls behind because he's just got an outland, he can just catch it up in that mid-game with a couple of successful ganks or team fights. Especially if he gets those, those tracks off on a couple of heroes. It's just really fun to see. I mean, we don't tend to see him a lot now because he's just banned out or picked up. And, uh... Yeah, it's just so out, slightly out of favor, and Sven ban as well from Tesla Azure. Somehow I don't think that Crip My Pants would go for that, considering they've already got the Night Stalker. Just be another strength, semi-carry, carry type of hero. It would be fairly easily countered. But let's just see what they go for. They've only got uh, 30 seconds of their reserve time left, so Crip My Pants are probably going to have to think about this one a fair bit. Because this will kind of reveal their strategy. I mean, they didn't ban out the Chen, so the Chen is still there. And they've gone Dragon Knight, so another offensive uh, strength throw. He's got a stun, obviously. He's got Dragon Form, which gives awesome pushing. Uh, especially with towers, he can farm up that the jungle. There's Ancients when he gets, uh, I think it's level 2 that he gets the, the cleave. Yeah, yeah, level 2, he gets the splash attack. But the Green Jack Dragon is just so good at pushing those tier 1s. So if he can like get that uh, level 6 and then push out those tier 1s, he'll probably be in the try lane if they end up going one. I'm assuming the Darkseer would be going offline and offlane and Nightstalk would be going mid in this case. But if Garo's going mid, oh man, Nightstalk is going to be outlaned massively. And Tesla just going into their reserve time. They're not exactly sure what they're going to pick up. I would probably not see them picking up the Chen in this one. Yep, they're not going to go for that. They're going to go for the Lena setup. With, um, sorry, the Lena setup. The Shadow Demon set, set up into the Lena's Light Strike Array gives awesome tri lane presence, which means I'll probably suspect an undying offlane with a Garo mid, and they'll reveal their carry with their last pick. And Crit My Pants probably looking for another support hero just to go on that tri lane. Just give Dragon Knight some, you know, some breathing space. Or they could go offensively. I mean, his stun is very powerful. It can combine up with, with Jakiro's stun. And he's got a potent nuke in, um, in Dragon Breath as well. Breathe Fire. Does a fair bit of damage in an AoE. I'm not exactly sure what they would be going for, though. If it wasn't a support hero. I mean, they could be pulling some next-gen strats. Yeah. Next level Dota, guys. Next level Dota. But the burst damage, which will come out from Tesla or Azure, I mean, Shady Demon works his disruption very well with Gyrocopter as well. Because he can unleash the rocket, and then when disruption comes, it'll just stop him from running away, and then it'll just go in and hit him, and he'll just be like, oh man, where's this rocket come from? Do a lot of damage. Sand King being picked up for Crit My Pants. Wow, that is great setup. I mean, the Burrow Strike is going to set up perfectly for the Ice Path. And then Dragonite can come in and stun him with his Dragon Tail as well. And Slada being picked up. That is interesting. By, by Tesla. I haven't actually seen a Slada in a Tri-Lane in a long time. I'm, I have not even remembered seeing that. 
So this is going to be a very interesting game. Obviously, he would be going safe lane farm. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of stuns, obviously, coming out Prepare from this team, from this setup. So let's just run through the players. Oh, running on that slaughter pick is Nicotic for Tesla. We've got Fingerface on the Jar. We've got Oranges on the Shadow Demon. And then we have Situ on that Lena with an awesome hat. And then we've, we have Free Chef Keep, which is actually Deckers, if you watched uh, the previous cast. And looking like they're going to go rotate top. Just looking on to Crip My Pants, we have Genesis, or Genesis, on the Jakira. We have H-Boss on the Sand King. Sorry, I can check with these guys how their names are meant to be pronounced, because honestly, sometimes. And we have Jezza on the DK. Going mid, we have BBC on the Night Stalker, and we have Andax on the Darkseer. <laughs> Just doing a couple of shouts out. And they're just not really wanting to get any wards up. Uh, interesting build. It looks like actually Shadow Demons might be going mid. <laughs> uh, these, these teams like to have a lot of fun. And this is going to be an offensive try lane. I thought it was going to be. They had a lot of stun power coming out from Crypt My Pants. We're just going to safe lane. To the Darkseer and give that mid to the Night Stalker, which is going to have a tough time. Are we going to have Slada mid? Really? And the Gyra Cup to solo? Okay, just pulling out some crazy strats for me. Okay, I, I, I can see how this can work. And obviously we're going to have a really powerful try lane. I mean, if, if Darkseer gets caught out, man, he's going to be in trouble. And level 1 gank coming out from H-Boss. He's got Barrow Strike up. And then he goes on him, going to chuck out the Void, but the Slytherin Crush just being able to stun them both up, and they're not going to be able to do anything there. It's not, that was a good good attempt. I mean, he got an Invis rune. Are they actually going to seriously dual mid this, though? No, nah, he's going to he's gonna rotate back. He's, he's going back. It's okay. And, whoa! Solo casting. Not quite getting enough uh, map awareness, but I, he, he did not die yet, so if we, we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And that is probably not on. Lol. And yep, you guys can now hear me in Dota 2. Sorry guys, thanks. Someone uh, messaged me actually <laughs> saying that it wasn't on. Uh, but, <laughs> that'd probably be good, but, man, Andex got caught out by this, I mean, they probably used the Shadow Demon's Disruption into, into the Light Strike away, and he's got Decay up now, but, oh, he's in trouble, he's on half HP, he's gonna be, you know, dealing with that a fair bit, and Fingerface is just gonna be going solo up against this lane, but, oh, man, if HBoss can come down... <laughs> Get a bow strike off on the Jaro. He's going to be in a lot of trouble because Genesis can just land the ice path straight after it, and then uh, Dragon Knight can just run in as Jezza and just Dragon Tail him up afterwards. And as long as they chain those stuns, it'll be pretty impressive. <laughs> But, no, that's a good force coming out. I mean, he just did that in his gank as well, so he's already used up one of his bar strikes. In terms of his mana, normally you can only do about two without any regen, but he's got two clarities, so it should be up. Anyways, we're back in, and they're not going to quite get enough damage out on the Darkseer. He's going to run around with, with around about 100 HP, but that was a really good start from those guys. And man, you just really, really don't want to be up against this try lane. It looks like that the Darkseer is getting the farm in this lane. And wow, Night Stalker is getting a lot more than I thought he was going to. Just because of how much um, pressure he's getting on the Slaughter. I mean, that gank coming out from H-Boss as well in the very beginning of the game was quite, quite good. And I am disconnected. Sorry guys, just going to reconnect back in. It does this sometimes. There's nothing much you can do, unfortunately. 
As long as I don't miss out on anything. Oh, so help me if I do. I'll be so annoyed. <laughs> Oh dear. Sorry about that guys, just the disconnecting back out and should be okay now though. And I missed I missed a, a first blood because of that. Oh, oh, that's that's not cool. No. And it was on this tri lane which ganked up the mid by the looks on yeah, BBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the Knights looking mid got ganked up, and they're just able to land out those stuns and getting first blood. Kind of annoying that I missed that because of a DC. That is crappy. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Anyway, continuing on now. Light sucker ray falling, but Jez is gonna die, and Dragon Knight just getting caught out there by this awesome, awesome tri lane, which they just rotated now to contend with this offensive tri lane. I mean, that was, of course, the disruption into Light Strike Away, just finished off by the Dragon Slave, and just, man, there's so much damage coming out. Of course, he's got Rocket Barrage as well, which does deal a whole lot of damage on that one target, and they didn't really able to contest that. And Night Stalker is just slowly falling behind now in last hits, with Slaughter giving some space, and he's got 18 and 2 now compared to Night Stalker's 10 and 1. Which is not something that you want to see. I'm just going to fix that up for you guys. Sorry about that. But man, oh, so frustrating. For missing out on that. And they're just doing some little dances around the tower. Slada has a double damage rune, so that is a lot of damage. Gets off the Slaughter and Crush. Just bashing down the Slaughter a little bit. Um, a little bit, Night Stalker. But he's getting just so much tower damage, and he's going to have to get out. He's got the bottle, of course. So he's going to be able to get... Um, this invisibility rune and he could gank up something nasty right now and I don't know if they've seen that I don't know if that was watered yeah it's, it was watered they saw that there's, there's two wards there so they're not sure exactly where he's going and if I have disconnected again oh my god I'm going to kill things Okay.
And that is another DC, and this is my kill counter's getting all screwed up now, but I haven't missed anything this time. Thankfully, I haven't missed anything. But, oh man, frustrating. But we have a rotation, Garethoff is now going top lane, moving this Undying down to, bottom, um, to the bottom lane in this tri lane, which is very, very powerful. Doesn't have a, such a strong farmer in comparison, I mean, with the Gyrocopter obviously now just beginning free off lane. Darkseer coming down. Getting a little bit of damage up as well, but Nightstalker able to snag snag a rune. No, he just bottle crowed. So that would be that. That be oof. And that is just the power of this tri lane. As soon as they get in, it just forces the Dragon Knight back, and there's hardly anything that he can do in this lane. And he's going to be falling behind in last hits. And yeah, that's really being shown. Tesla or Zura just really outplaying, outplaying these guys, especially. Especially in the mid and in this bot lane now. Just showing off their power. Top tower and Slado is just getting slightly harassed out now, but he's got a huge lead. And I mean, he's 30 last hits with 6, and and the Night's Look is just 19. I mean, it's just nowhere near as in comparison. That, like, it's just so much in favor of the Ducks here. Of the Night's Looker, sorry. And those gold graphs just showing the trend that it's just keeping on coming. Dyer's that crit my pants are just slowly falling top. behind. They're trying to make something of this Darkseer rotation now, which is like four bot at the seven minute mark. Gonna try and push this tower. But against you know this tri lane, if he gets caught out, this could be quite dangerous. Night's look is still mid, but they're giving solo farm for the Gara in this top lane. And no pulling, no stacking behind, and they're probably falling behind on levels now. Yeah, but there's only level 3 on H-Boss. Level 6 on the Darkseer though, so he's doing a lot better. Level 3 on the on the, on the the Dragon Knight, and only level 4 on Jakira. Compared to this Tri-Lane, who's, you know, level 4, level 6 on the Undying, and level 4 on Lena. I mean, just the level advantage in this lane alone is just going to be really hard to deal with. But Night Stalker getting an, uh, an Invis rune without being. Oh no, he smoked up. He smoked up, and the, the Slider did not have vision of him there, so he wasn't able to get off his amplified damage. It was the rotation he went top. It was the, the Sanking. And here comes out. And that is going to be just a disruption saved. But then in comes the Slider with Sizzle and Crush. And. Lena's still alive, just gets picked off at the end there by the wall from the Darkseer, who then drops as well. And then that's quickly turned around, and Dragonite being picked off now, quickly followed by the Jakiro and the TP support coming in from Gyrocopter, something that was just massively advantageous in that fight, just charging in with a flat cannon, just getting those auto attacks off. And that is quite a swing in terms of Tesla, just being able to pick off four heroes. With that TP support, was just something that they didn't quite expect. And man, Crip My Pants just being out, out, out done, really. And Sankin coming in. Just going straight into Sandstorm, not wanting to take damage. But really, with the, the AoE damage coming out from these guys, you want to be careful about that. I mean, Garo <laughs> has uh, has cooldown, which will hit you when you're in this. Nothing much you can do there. Night's Thugger like being weird without wings. I don't exactly know what's going on there. But man, this this tri lane pickup from, from Tesla has just been really powerful, and I can't believe I said this, but Slata mid is actually going okay. Which is not something which I would have expected to really see. <laughs> because man, Slata is just an interesting character. He hasn't gone for the massive sprint, he's just gone in one level and he's just maxed out. The Slytherin Crush and the Bash. And obviously doing Amplify damage whenever he can. Rotation coming out from Crypt My Pants. H-Boss coming into this mid lane again. They don't have any vision on him just yet. Yep, now they do. And that is a clever play from the Kodak. Just pulling back. Not wanting to, you know, be caught out by that stun. But also coming out the rotation is, is Oranges on the Shadow Demon. And if he can get that disruption off, then that could be an issue for them. And they see him here, and he's just going to disrupt up on that Sand King, not wanting to be picked off by his stun, because 
they would have been also had the Jakuro star nice ice path. Just being able to get that as well. Picking off, making sure the Night Stalker got that double damage rune. BBC just getting back up now. But Night Stalker is just falling behind. He's still 10 last hits behind the Slada. Who's now getting... He's getting a lot of farm and the Lena's just on this top lane, but... The, this Gyrocopter is getting a lot of farm as well. He's got 53 last hits now. And the highest one for uh, Crip My Pants in the last hit department is just Darkseer. With this 36. But then the foe is closely followed by 35 on Nice Laker. But the Dragon Knight is just so far behind now. He's on 31. And even though the, the Undying was, you know, really up in that trial lane. And, wow, out of position is Orange's. But the TP support in is just going to enable with getting this kill on the Darkseer. And man, Situ, what a bait. <laughs> <laughs> but Night Stalker just being able to get out there. But Freya, the, the TP support coming out from Tesla is just something that is just not being, really being contested out from Crypt My Pants. It's being able to get a lot of offensive power through the use of those. H-Boss really not wanting to be seen in that lane. He only has boots up. Face boots on the, on the Night Stalker. And they're pushing this tower now. And they're probably going to get that. Jakiro just trying to push it off. Using the fortification. But he's in the wrong spot now. He could be stunned up. No, he's going to run back and just let it fall. Tower falling there though for the Jik for the Garicopter. Getting that farm up. It's going to be good. But Jakiro might take a lot of damage from this. Is it? Nope, it's looking at him, and it's only level 1, so... Not as much damage as you would have thought at this stage. <laughs> but, of course, I am back into this game now. So, no more dis disconnects, I've figured out what that issue was. And, man, that is going to be a dead dark Dragon Knight. Just the combination of the Lena and, and the Gyro just being able to pull off. With the flat cannon into into homing missile, and then closely followed by the Laguna Blade, is just something that you don't really want to contend with. Just picking off the carry again. Tesla just being able to shut down this Dragon Knight, who's only level five, and that is something that is going to make it so hard for them to come back. With Slada being level ten, disruption coming out on the Night Stalker, but not much really they can do about that. Rotations though coming in. Slider being very low on life, but he has a he has a bottle and he has a nine charges on his wand. So he should be able to, you know, get back into this fight. But the Shadow Demon being there with Well nope, nope, they're gonna be going up on this top lane trying to kill off this Darkseer. And they might be able to get there, but Purge is gonna be able to get them away and they're gonna have to back off. And Dragonite picks up Undying at this at the same time. Not being able to see that unfortunately, sorry guys. Solo casting. I'm going to make mistakes much more than normal. <laughs> and probably talk a fair bit of trash. Really. <laughs> and that's really what he needs. He's now got his level 7. And that's going to finally give him some space to farm up. But that's really nothing in comparison to where the Slardar is at the moment. He has a lot of farm. He's already got his Blink Dagger. So they've got some initiation coming out from the Slardar now. And the chase they'll be able to get is just quite powerful. And I don't know if, if uh, Crypt My Pants know that he's got this Blink Dagger, because if they don't, he could get in quite a lot of trouble. Just being out of position, blinking in, doing the Slytherin Crush, then being slowed afterwards, and he's got level 4 on Bash now, as well as the Power Treads up, which has been up for a while, yes, I know. But man, that is something that is going to be very hard to contest with. Four heroes now in mid for Crypt My Pants, and just not wanting to let anything happen here. But they realize that Situ's slightly out of position. Slytherin Crush going in on the Night Stalker. It's going to get stunned up. And there's a beautiful bow strike into Epicenter. But he gets disrupted. And wow, the Night Stalker's still surviving. But he's going to get Slytherin Crushed up again. And that's him falling. Laguna Blade going on the Sand King. Just killing him out there. And that is going to be also another death on the on the Dragon Knight. Just being caught out. And that is going to be a four kills down. For, and the Crit My Pants just losing four heroes. Jaro um, not actually getting any of those, I don't think. Nope, it was all Slaughter. But, that was just quite effective team fight from them, picking off the Jakira at the very end then. But man, not even having to use that Blink Dagger. Just getting off those kills so easily. The advantage is just so far in Tesla's favor right now. 
Above the 500 gold, above the 500, sorry, 5,000 gold, above 500 XP, and there's the blink tag coming out, and H boss just getting caught out, not realizing that he had that, and he goes, oh, I think, I think he has a blink dagger now, just going into the Slytherin Crush and just bashing him down, easy pick off there. And they're just leaving Darkseer up there to farm. I think they're just going to have to let this go. Jumping again was the Slada going into the crush. And there's going to be another kill on the Jakiro. The initiation coming out from that is just so powerful. And able to get off that tower as well. Tier 2 falling mid. TP is coming in now. Because the tier 1 top is just in denial range. They're probably going to be able to get that tonight. Just not letting them have anything. Dragon Knight now so far behind. In terms of net worth, if I can get the right one off, there we go. I mean, he's just nowhere near. He's 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 only at two thousand five hundred, which has just been completely outshadowed by this by the slaughter. He's just got so much now. He's buying up his mithril hammer. Probably going to be going for the BKB. He doesn't want to be stunned up, and that's going to block all of their stuns actually. So it's a very good pickup. Mech also up on the Garacopter. He's playing. Looks well, looks like it's going to be a more of a support base. With Undying going for, uh, gonna be going for that pipe eventually. And no other big items up on Tesla, but th that's not really what's gonna can be the concerns. The fact that the lack of items, the complete lack of items actually on Crip My Pants, have pretty much nothing up, which is gonna help him in this fight. And Darkseer should be caught out here. Smokes up, and there's the blink in, and they're gonna be able to fall. He's be able to get the kills. Easy kills there. Garcopter not even using his smoke. Realize that he's there now. Blink Dagger is probably off cooldown in a couple of seconds, but they were only about to go in. Rocket coming in now. And then there's the Blink Dagger going in with the Slytherin Crush, and there's going to be another very good kill. Getting caught out was the Sand King there. H Boss just not quite, not quite in the support range of his team. And they're just going to push out this top lane now. They're going to take this tower. They've only got one creep, so they might have to wait for the next one. The backdoor region. And Night Stalker just not even going to contest this. It's just going to go bot. Try and push this lane. Dyer's top tower but they're going to contest it now. TP's coming out from the Gyro Captain. And it looks like that Crit My Pants are also going to contest this. Four heroes rotating up to this top lane, dropping a ward. But I don't know if there's much they can do. Blink Dagger into, into Slytherin Crush, followed up by... By Situ with uh, that Lena stun, it's just something that is really hurting them. But they do able to, they were able to force them out, and they're just pulling back now. And then the Slider's is going to be able to pick off that haste rune, thinking about going in, but instead just blocks him up. Team fight could be happening here with H boss leading the way, hoping to get off a bow strike, but they're not going to going to. Feel it, feel it like it's safe to rotate. They're going to go through. Could have been caught out. They were thinking about it. Slider still being still, uh, amplified up. Ging vision. Probably would have seen that H boss is right next to him as well. And what was that coming out to the Darkseer? That's just the hood now up on the Darkseer. Which is good to see. Should be able to block some of that damage. But until they get pipe... It's probably not going to be enough. Now H-Boss in the wrong position here. He's going to get caught out. Slytherin with the haste rune. And he's jumping in. But he's able to silence up by, from the Night Stalker. But with that haste rune being able to, you know, really get him out of trouble there. The blink kind of actually falling in between heroes. Not being able to get off the instant Slytherin crush. And now they're going to push this tower. He's just looking up. Nope. Just defensive ice path there. He was looking to amplify. Maybe blink in. Get another Slytherin crush off. But it's just not going to happen. And they're going to get this tower. Quite easily. Five heroes dedicated towards that and 16 2. Dragon Knight finally getting some type of item up with a Morbid Mask. And another smoke coming out from Tesla. I don't know if this was seen by Crypt My Pants. They're not exactly, you know, letting themselves be seen. They're hiding up in their base. But they really should be going for this, this Dragon Knight. They don't exactly know where he is. Actually, yep, he's picked up by that ward. So, yep, he, they know exactly where he is. And they should be able to get caught out, but he's going to be able to TP. Yeah, he's out. And counter smoke now. Coming out from Crypt My Pants. Realizing that they lost it. 
And they should be able to catch him out here, but I don't know if they'll be able to win this win this fight. Being revealed by each other now, and I think they also were seen. Night Stalker dropping in. D defensive disruption from the Shadow Demon. Dropping in straight into the Ice Bath. Slytherin Crush missing on everyone. We have an epicenter combo being able to come out, but he gets hit up by the wall. But that is going to be very, very dead Gyrocopter. Lots of damage falling out, and that's going to also be the Undying falling, but that's the price of three heroes. And then here comes the Slada back in, being able to blink in and just hit down. BKB coming up on him now. And Dragon Knight was nowhere to be seen in that fight, just having to retreat out. <laughs> <laughs> he just really didn't like that siege creep. And that was only a 2 for 4 trade, and that's the best that Crypt My Pants could really do from that. That Darkseer dropping dropping the wall right on top of Sand King's epicenter was something that really forced out the, the two deaths. But with it, without the rest of the team really being able to pop up uh, their spells in the right positions, it wasn't enough to, to really sustain the rest of that fight. I mean, Jakiro wasted his Ice Path all just on the, the Shadow Demon, which tended out not to even do anything in that fight. And that was something which they couldn't really afford. It's just to waste that stun. It's one of the only AoE stuns other than the Bow Strike, which did pick up on two. But great play coming out from Tesla there. Maelstrom now on the Gyrocopter, wanting to get, get up some more AoE damage that time. Magical. Undying almost at Pipe. Same as Darkseer, he's getting there as well. And there's Jakiro's building towards the mech, which would help them in those team fights. Urn also up on Night Stalker. Building towards that BKB Morbid Mask now on Dragonite as well. But that's all the big items up for them. I mean, Slider's got Blink and BKB. And that's just something that's really hard to pick up against. And now Lena has, has the Blink as well. And that initiation is just going to be really hard to contend with. Drums up on Shadow Demon. And, wow, he is nowhere near this fight. Garfield's just farming up while the rest of his team is mid. Good offensive ward, this one, just being able to spot out any of, of Crypt My Pants' heroes in this mid lane. And he's going to get caught out. Blinks in. Defensive disruption, but he's able to get out for, with his bow strike. But then the Laguna Blade just picks him off. Dragon Knight also out of position now, as long as the rest of his team, but they're pulling back. Slider activating the sprint, now level 3, so he's going to be able to be fairly fast. Worth actually activating it. And Sand King, that's his, another death coming out on him. It's five deaths. Wow, that's actually quite even, except for, you know, him. But man, 14 assists on the, und on the Undying. Showing actually the power of this hero, finally. And they're just going to rotate and take this rush. With Crit My Pants not really being able to strap outside of the base. Net worth on the sanking just coming up to really a 10,000, and that is the XP XP lead, but the gold lead is at 15,000. That is a lot. And that is something that you just can't really contend with. Bottle now being switched over from the slaughter, just onto the Lena, just getting back up her mana and HP. And man, Laguna Blade's cooldown just being reduced uh, with that latest patch has just made us so powerful. Being used up there just really burst down the Sand King, who's now who's now all centralized in this in this base area, but they're gonna need to defend mid. Dragon Knight Tippy's back, but at this stage I don't know if there's anything that Crit My Pants can really do. They're so far behind on farm now, and they're so far behind on XP. There's so much just advantage just for Tesla right now, unless they can get a perfect stun out on on the ice path you know you're falling up from the vacuum from Darkseer here and maybe into the bow strike it's just going to be very difficult for them to be able to really do anything about that but tesla not, aren't looking to push that base just yet slada looking towards building up a deso i'd probably say as in a desolator sorry guys abbreviations Ugh, so bad <laughs> and that'll give him a lot more minus armor pipe now finish for undying Gyrocopter hasn't got anything offensive yet. He's got face boots, and he's going to be building towards BKB as well. Other than the Maelstrom. He's not going to finish that off, obviously. Just wanting to keep that. It's just casual. It's a casual Maelstrom. And wow, h -boss might be in trouble here again. Blink in from the slider, being able to stun up, and that is going to be a very quick death. He was able to get that ward off, but they've got 
some invis detection, and it's a gem on on the knights on the slaughter. Sorry, on the slaughter. Able to instantly de ward. I smell smoke. Interesting. <laughs> but they're going to be able to push this top tier three now. Rotating through. Hopefully that smoke isn't coming from my computer. But we do have a thunderstorm here, so that's probably one that is. Ice bath now dropping out, only stunning up on the slider. Probably not what he wanted to do with that. Being able to delay out, but the amplify damage falling onto the Saiyan King. And that is so much damage. He's taking extra 35% physical damage from that. And they're just rotating back out now. Not quite ready for it. He has the recipe, just needs to farm up the rest of it. I think he'll probably end up dropping the Aegis. He'll probably just die. And then uh, hope that, you know, that's all that he'll have to do. But Tesla not really being able to push this tier 3 just yet. Being spotted out by, the, by this ward though. That's a lovely Chen ward. Oh. And counter warding coming out now. And they're just not wanting to get any vision. Probably you could move Pipe now up on the darks here. Mech's still not up, but he's got the buckler. Other than that, and man, H-Boss being picked off again. He just died so quickly after the disruption ended. And that was just Lena. And the rest of the team. Giving up that soul capture, being able to use those abilities really quickly. And that is his sixth, seventh death now. It's really not not being able to control out another smoke coming out from from Tesla. Just wanting to be able to catch some more heroes out going this bot lane. They have they have ward vision. But pulling back inside the base now. Won't be able to be spot um get them. Being able to be spotted out now. A bit of a failed smoke, but well worth it. Three heroes still smoked up, so they might be able to get something. H-Boss rotating out, maybe a little bit too far. Oh, no, no, he's still good. Devil's damage. Slider just dropping up, not wanting to have any of that that detection. It's gone, do you know what? I'm just going to blink up there in D-Ward, because I can. <laughs> it's the power of blink. Of course, he has the gem. Still beating towards that Desolator. And man, the turtle. Just really trying to force it out, but there's a th thousand net... Ten, sorry. A thousand. Ten thousand net worth now on the garage copter. He's almost got his BKB. In fact, he'll have it after th after that creep wave, I think. Yep, that's his BKB. And he's just going to be able to send it through to him. He has space, and they should be able to push this tier 3 now. With BKBs being on both the Slaughter and the garage copter. When it comes out, obviously. And they really should be able to push that tier 3 without fear of really much of the Crypt My Pants uh, counter push offenses coming out mainly from the Sand King. I mean, his Bro Strike will be blocked. So their main heroes will be protected, and that's really what is really causing these deaths. Is the Blink Dagger initiation from the Slaughter. It's really helping. Pipe now being, being popped. <laughs> Ice Path missing on everyone. And like, like is just going to be able to bash down this tower. I've Guy up to activating flat cannon, not being able to get much use out of it, just a little bit of auto harass on the Night Soul Grand and then the blink in from the slaughter dropping in, and that's gonna be a very quick death. Guy up to be able to pick that off with cooldown, and that's gonna be another death on the on the um, on the sorry, on the Jakiro buyback coming out from the Night Soaker. And there's catching out three heroes, and that is just gonna be a lots of lots of death coming out. Dragon Knight still being caught out. Slaughter being able to drop back in and be able to stun him up, and that is going to be a team wipe. And GG's coming out from H Boss, realizing that they can't, <laughs> they can't win this. <laughs> and then we'll be going on to the next game. Very decisive play from Tesla, showing that they don't just have to use their Chen. I mean, obviously, with Chen being obviously one of their favorite heroes, they can play without him. Finally being able to finish off this game, sorry for the disconnects on in this game guys, I've actually sorted out that issue now. But man, Slaughter mid just being able to own out that Night Stalker after that, that first blood gank. Smoke coming out from from the the Lena and the Shadow Demon, which I missed when I was disconnected, but that that just swung that mid lane in favor of the Slaughter and they could never contest after that. 
that was kind of the it. And with the gyrocopter and the rotations really coming out from Tesla, man, pro stop animation. <laughs> just ensured that they were able to get those kills, and that was just something which was really being able to be contended. And that is the game. Thanks guys, if you guys are watching on the Dota TV client, we'll be going into the next one very shortly. If you guys are watching on YouTube, thanks guys for watching, and you know, like and subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. We have our face gr Facebook group up as well, so we'll be able to see us on there. Anyway, wow, Hero Mode Shadow Demon 2021, far out. Thanks guys for watching, and I'm Vid Trentis for DDT, and this is the Grand Finals of the Australian Tournament. And we'll be going to the next game, just after this.